I love commenting on your videos. You bring up such interesting subjects. And for that, just, just let me start off by saying thanks for bringing up these subjects because I find them fascinating and, and I, I love talking about them. Um, on altruism, uh, I will say the one thing I agree with the Randians about, uh, you know, the objectivists, um, to an extent, is this idea of enlightened self-interest, okay? I think that most altruism, when you dig deep enough, is enlightened self-interest. Um, but being a human being and having an unconscious and being bombarded with demands from your environment on a continual basis, uh, I don't think that all enlightened self-interest is conscious. I think that a lot of it is unconscious, and that constitutes what I would call uh, biological altruism, that is, doing nice things for people just because you want to, because it feels good, because it's in your innate character to do so. And I think that was a very important part of uh, human evolution and development, um, because if we stop to think every time someone asks something, of us or a situation present itself where we could either act selfishly, you know, just, just mindless selfishly, or we could be somewhat altruistic. If we stop to calculate our enlightened self-interest in any of those circumstances, there just wouldn't be enough time. I think evolution has given people with a, a tinge, a touch of altruism, an advantage uh, in a social landscape. And I naturally distrust people who don't have that altruism. And, and there's actually a, a psychological term for that. They're called sociopaths, people who act blindly out of their own narrow self-interest or when they act even altruistically are always calculating what's in it for them, okay? I think those kinds of people being labeled sociopaths is indicative of what we consider to be so the normal human condition, you know, the healthy human condition, which is to have a bit of biological altruism ingrained in us, you know. For example, you know, when someone, you know, stops us on the street and asks for directions, we don't ask for $5 first, you know. <laughs> we don't conduct a transaction. We don't ask, well, what's in it for me? You think, well, I'm doing this nice thing for someone. It costs me relatively little, and it is of so much benefit to them that... You know, that if they happen to see me again next time, they're likely to do something nice for me. Well, of course, growing up in a, sort of a tribal environment during our evolution, that would make a certain amount of sense in, um, in uh, enlightened self-interest perspective, okay? But in a world full of strangers, we still behave the same way. It's still ingrained in the human nature. You know, even though a stranger on the street stops you and asks for directions, you will probably never see that person again for the rest of your life, even in a city you never go to. You go to, you're a tourist in a, in a city that you have no plans on returning. You don't know the person, no way of contacting them ever again, and they will still be nice to you. You know, that's, that's sort of the ingrained altruism that people have. For things that cost relatively little, we're willing to help out, you know. Now, as things get more and more expensive, of course, there's a lot more calculation going on, you know. But I, I do believe that that kind of base-level altruism is necessary for a functioning society. I don't think our society could survive if we had to conduct, you know, uh, very careful negotiated transactions with every person we met, you know. we. We come out a little ahead sometimes, we come out a little behind, but it's under the radar, it's all under our altruistic radar, and we don't, we enjoy giving, it makes us feel good to give a little. Now, if, <laughs> if we're giving a lot, then we feel as though we're being taken advantage of, okay, and so there's a balance there. But I do believe that our evolutionary history has given us this, this biological altruism that's we need to function as a society, okay? So when I hear enlightened self-interest and the way the objectivists put it, I'm thinking they're calculating every maneuver. Well, I, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in calculating every maneuver. If someone's asking a lot, then some calculations can, can go ahead. But, you know, just doing nice things for people, it feels good, and that's not such a bad thing. It costs relatively little to do something nice for someone else. And that's, 
That's altruism. And it's part of what makes society bearable. It's part of what makes us like people to, to enjoy living in a society at all, you know. And that happiness we get from other people, when, when we do get happiness from other people, that is essential for culture and society and everything else, for cohesion. That altruism is absolutely necessary. Without it, we, we would all just return to the wild. We would not be social beings at all. Okay, So that's, that's my take on it. I think in an absolute objective sense that all that altruism, when you boil it down, is enlightened self-interest. But I think it's, I think evolution has done what we don't have time to calculate. Okay, so there, there you have it. That's that's my opinion. Thanks, thanks for watching. Bye.